Hello everyone, it's Lara. So today I'm going to share an update with my Women Who Rock project pan. So this project was created by Cece, Ruth, and Kim, and this project is all about ladies who have done great things. So for this update, I was able to meet my goal on three items. So the first thing I was able to meet my goal on was for Spice Girls, and that's something you really want to pan. And I put in this perfume sample from Bath and Body Works in the scent You're the One. My goal is to finish it and I finished it. And I actually really enjoyed this scent. That was a nice scent. Like not a super obsession but I did like it and was intrigued enough to maybe one day if I ever finish my perfumes consider buying that. So I did really like it. The next thing I was able to meet my goal on was for Krista McAuliffe, and for that I put in this Paula's Choice foil packet. My goal is to finish it, and I finished it. And the last thing I met my goal on was for my Angelou, and that is something that volumizes or pumps. So I put in this volumizing shampoo from Garnier Fructis, and I was able to finish it. Okay, let me show you the rest of the items. So, for Beyonce, um, I put in this Super Goop sunscreen sample and I didn't use it even a single time. Next, for Helen Reddy, uh, I put in this Too Faced Candy Cane liquid lipstick. My goal was to use it five times and I didn't use it at all. Next, for Rachel Platten, I put in this Belief Moisturizer. And I have been using this. There's only a little bit left at the bottom. So I definitely think I could have this done for the next update. For Rosa Parks, I put in this Dial Bar Soap and my goal is to finish it. I have been using it, so it's getting pretty thin. Not sure if I could have it done for the next update, but it's getting there. For Princess Diana, something tough but beautiful, I put in this e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. My goal was to use it five times and I haven't used it a single time. For Anne Frank, I put in this eyeshadow from the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, the one called Heroin. My goal is to use it ten times and so far I've only used it twice. For Jane Goodall, a cruelty-free item, I put in this e.l.f. toner. My goal is to finish it and I haven't used it at all. For Martina McBride, something that makes you feel beautiful, I put in this Wet n Wild concealer. This is actually the concealer I've been using every day. This is my main focus and I can't really tell like how exactly how much progress I've made. I can't really see through the packaging or really into it, but I mean, when I put the wand in, not a lot comes out. So I definitely feel like it's getting towards the end. And I do really like this concealer. It's a nice concealer. For Katy Perry, something fierce. I put in this KVD Beauty Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Trooper Black, and I've used it five times so far. My goal is to finish it. For Sakagawea, I put in this e.l.f. moisturizer. I haven't touched it. Frida Kahlo, I put in this Mini Cosmetics Celestial Thunder Palette, and I've only used it one time, and my goal is to use it ten times. For Madeline Albright, something that you want to be noticed in your collection, I put in this quad from Wet n Wild in Silent Treatment. My goal is to hit pan on one of the shades, whichever one comes first, and I haven't even touched it yet. <laughs> So, 
a lot of the eyeshadows I have not touched because it's getting towards the end of the year and I'm really focusing hard on my Pan That palette. So a lot, mostly all of the eyeshadows are getting backburnered until I can make some really, really good progress on my Pan That palette. Uh, for Ruth Bader Ginsburg, so a nine pan palette used nine times. This is Venus Marble. I haven't used it at all. Harriet Tubman. Um, I put in a shade from this BH Cosmetic Supernova palette in the shade Stella. My goal is to use it ten times and I haven't touched it. For Julia Child, a food themed item, this I put in this Too Faced Watermelon Foundation and I think I've only used it one time. So not a lot of progress there. I'm really focusing on the foundation that's in my 50 Shades of Green project. That one's almost done so as soon as that's done I will probably focus on this one. For Serena Williams, I put in this e.l.f. cream shadow stick. My goal is to finish it. I have been using this shadow stick pretty consistently. I'm wearing it as a base for my eyeshadow today, and I pretty much use it as a base most days. Not sure if there'll be really any super visible product. This is more of a stiffer kind of formula, so it doesn't really go down that fast, even though I have been using it a lot. And the last one for Marie Curie, newly discovered, I put in this powder from Crayon Touch Me. My goal is to finish it. And I feel like you can start, you're starting to see like the, what is it called? Like the pan design in the bottom, like that square. I do use this powder pretty much every day, so I don't suspect it'll take me too much longer to hit pan. It doesn't say how much product is in this powder. Oh no, it says six grams. There's six grams. Okay. That's not a ton. I feel like that's doable. And hopefully I can finish it by the end of the year so I can have another powder to put in my year end empties. That'd be cool. Okay, so that is everything. So for the next update, I hope I can get this moisturizer finished. Um, I would like to start using the eyeshadows and maybe I can start using this sunscreen, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.